All right, guys, so today we have the Madden 24 official trailer launch. This is, of course, now being presented five days before Madden 24 comes out. So let's go ahead and watch this and react to this. In this game, numbers are everything. First and 10 at their own 20. 6'5, 237. Unstoppable. 324 catches, 4,825 yards, and counting. 26 and a half sacks, 20 carats, all the sauce, baby. In this game, numbers are everything, so call yours Madden 24. I mean, okay. I usually don't watch the official trailer every year just because usually they're not that good. But I will say overall wise, this was not that bad. Really well edited, by the way. Just so I'll say that right now. Um, I do like how the transitions from like, you know, NFL footage to obviously Madden footage. Um, it is funny because it does not look realistic at all. I mean, Madden in general. Listen, at the end of the day, it's a football simulator. But it's not going to look that realistic, right? Especially not compared to actual football. Well, I say that, but there are some football games that are not made by EA Sports that actually have, like, insane good graphics. They just can't use NFL license because, you know, obviously EA Sports owns that. Nonetheless, though, they didn't really show off anything too crazy in this clip. I was like, really expecting them to show off the Patrick Mahomes, you know, side throw. And I know they showed it off to, honestly, the death at this point. But I really expected them to kind of put that in here and show that in some way. But, I mean, again, like I said, overall, Sauce Gardner, man. He got some sauce in there, too. It's, it's like one of those things where it's like, if I was a regular Madden player, right, and I just played every year, or maybe I didn't play in a couple years, right? Let's say that. Um, I looked at this footage. This wouldn't make me want to buy Madden. Like, me personally, I'm just my personal opinion. This does, this looks like Madden 23. If I told, if I were to put this out there and say, hey, listen, guys, Madden 23 just released a new intro, like, this late in the year. I, uh, other than if I took off the Josh Allen part and I took off the front and the back part of it, and I just said, hey, guys, new intro for Madden 23. Why did they release it this late? I guarantee you there will be a lot of people who say, Wow. They released another intro for the game? It, it's literally so long. Like, that's how realistically it could be Madden 23. So I'm surprised they didn't show anything else about Madden 24 in it. Now, obviously, they want to keep it in a, you know, good-looking state, right? You want to show off that, you know, it's not just like... Uh, I mean, you're not going to show off, like, franchise mode, right? You're not going to show off, like, you know, Superstar KO. You're just going to show off... The stuff that you want it like to make it exciting, like it's a football game, kind of transitioning from football to Madden, where it's that the easy transition and it's nothing different. I don't know. I just feel like they could have probably done a better job. But again, like I said, there isn't that much, you know, gameplay wise different with Madden 24, like, you know, from visual point of view. From a physical point of view, yes, abilities are no longer going to be OP. X-Factors are no longer going to be OP. You know, man coverage is broken. Zone is broken. There's a lot of stuff under the hood, but nothing that you're going to see with your physical eyes. So, I guess for what it is, it's actually not that bad. Now, of course, you put Josh Allen in there, and then I'm like, oh, that's Madden 24. <laughs> guys, let me know below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.